To start building a composting toilet frame, we're going to start with the front and back. I've pre drilled these holes with a 3 16 inch drill bit and a 3 32 inch drill bit to ensure that there's no cracking in the pine, which really shouldn't happen since it's a soft wood. Now these are in position, so I'm going to take and put these together. You're using two and a half inch or three inch screws. Want them nice and long to provide strength and stability. After we completely put the frame together, make sure it has good fit and finish, then we'll take it apart and then apply some glue and put it back together again. Now that's one of the front or back and you will need two of those. And through the magic of video we have two. The next step top of the frame. So you need the two 12 and a half inch pieces. One of them cut out of the 2 by 4 and two 21 inch pieces. When you attach the 21 and a half inch piece to the three and a half inch by twelve and a half inch piece, piece came out of the two by four. You have to use screws that you put in past halfway. You do not want any screws here. If you have screws back here, they're going to interfere with the next screw that's going to go in in the final assembly. So on both sides you need to avoid that screw in the back. That would be a mistake which I've already made. Again once this is all assembled we're going to take it apart and use glue provide strength with the uh, holding it together through all the vibration. I will say I've actually completed one and used it and it hasn't even come close to falling apart even though I haven't glued it together yet. So that's the top of the composting toilet. Now we're going to marry the top together with the front and back. This is the hole that would have been a problem if we had put that screw towards the back 
of the side piece that goes into that 2x4. Of course, the pilot hole only goes through the first piece of wood. And that's almost complete. The next step would be to put on these sides. Now the sides are very important. The sides need to be just flush with the five gallon bucket. So I'm going to wait to do that until I put the bottom on. The bottom piece goes on and then we can match the five gallon bucket up and put these sides on and get a precision fit because it needs to be flush with that five gallon bucket so that the center piece that goes in here is sitting right on top of that bucket. That's an important factor. So that's a pretty complete composting toilet frame. This is cutting the plastic paneling for the sidewalls of the composting toilet. To rough size. It's nice that they put these grooves in my uh, driveway to make it easy to cut without dulling the knife. Again, just cutting it oversized. And we'll trim the sides with the router when I'm done. This is trimming the plastic panels for each side of the composting toilet to their correct size using a trimming bit on the router.
Nice little trimming bit. Brand new, cuts like butter. And the end result is one of the plastic sides cut for composting toilet.